Hello and welcome back to another episode of Living in a Van with Daniel. We are currently on a road trip from Oregon back home to South Dakota. And we are in southeastern Oregon and are going to be heading to Idaho today. There's some ice caves that I want to check out um, and a couple of museums. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's go. All right, we made it to Boise, um, and we just got done eating in Costco. I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, see a family member of mine real quick, and then we're gonna keep on heading east here in Idaho. I don't think we're gonna make it to the ice caves today, so I might have to save that to, till tomorrow. I think what we're gonna do is find a campsite near it, and then go tomorrow morning. All right, we going to say what's up to the cousin. I don't think that doorbell works. Okay. Yo, those my, 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 those yeah, my yeah. I, I, oh, yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh, I figured she was. I just told her that I'm driving through the area, so I figured I'd stop by. No kidding, I'm a He was scared of the water yesterday. <laughs> So it's, uh, it's kind of a mess in here. Oh my already. gosh, that's cool. But, like, cause last time, I don't know if I showed you guys, but like, I didn't have the bed here. Um, and it's I- plugged in? Yeah, yeah, it's like running all the time. Baby, you got lights? You yeah. got sunlight? Yeah, I got- um, Oh, this is I got pimp. lights, I got the- So you come in here and work on this desk? I usually work in the bed. Um, and this is, like, this is where I want to put my kitchen. Like, this is like, I want to have countertop here, countertop with like a stove and sink on one of these yeah yeah, yeah yeah um and then like of course more like more like cabinet space well as visiting family sometimes and often almost always does for me at least um as you can see it is dark outside so uh it is currently 11 o'clock right now so you spent a little bit too much time there but uh, it was well worth it uh seeing family but we are going to be heading part of the way down to the shoshone ice caves and then we'll be doing that tomorrow so we'll be driving down to our favorite stop to camp and we'll be camping there tonight and then i will see you guys in the morning All right, well, we are at Walmart now. I am tired. It's almost 12, uh, so we're gonna get to bed and uh, then we're gonna do some things tomorrow. Good morning. This morning, I found, well, actually last night, that there are some sand dunes nearby to the city of Mountain Home that we're at. It's about 30 minutes south of here and I've never been sandboarding before. So I kind of think I wanna check that out and then we'll go do the ice caves that I was talking about yesterday. Just go ahead and hit the road. We got a short drive. Got to get a little bit of gas before we get there. It shouldn't take long. So I read online that they're supposed to have uh, sandboard rentals here, and I've, I have my snowboard, but I also don't really want to ruin it so I think the sandboard rentals are only $15 at least that's what I read online so I might just do that an entrance fee I think is $7 per vehicle so it's not bad all right well we got our visitor pass for the vehicle and we got ourselves a sandboard this thing is tiny I mean look at this like compared to my foot but and some sandboard wax so we'll see how this goes so I've never done this before Get in there. Ah. I don't know 
how well you guys can actually see those, but uh, they're pretty tall. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to look up how tall the tallest one is, but I mean, that might be like 300 feet. I don't know. I'm just guessing. All right, well, we are here. That is the small dune. And the big one is way over there. That looks, even this looks kind of steep and a little scary, so. And the board is so small, it just seems like it's not gonna be very stable, but we will see. Hope I don't die. Oh, there's so much sand on it. All right, well, here goes nothing. As you can see, that is pretty high up there. There's two people up there right now, and oh, I'm already tired. <laughs> Your feet, like, sink back, like, every step that you take. I guess it's not too high, maybe, like, 50 feet, but it's uh, kind of steep. I'll show you guys in a second. <sighs> All right, I had to catch my breath there for a second. I don't know how many times I'm actually going to do this. But uh, look, there's lakes. We got water in between. It's pretty cool. So I think this part over here looks the least steep to me. I don't know how it looks on camera, but over there it's like probably like 45, 50 degree angle, and that is really steep. Let's give it a try. You just kind of, I don't know, put this all over it, I guess. I don't know how they expect me to fit my feet in this. These things are super tiny. Oh, I guess I could just do this. Might have to take my shoes off. This thing is so small. Pretty sure this is meant for kids. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh well. We're strapped in, boys. Oh sh Well can't steer like a, you can a snowboard. <laughs> Woo. Hey, not bad. <laughs> ah. Okay, well, that wasn't that bad. I didn't even make it to the bottom. But these straps are so tight, it's hurting my feet. So we just came from up there. Oh, I'm gas. <sighs> this is like the ultimate Stairmaster. Okay, let's go again. What's that? Phone video? I mean, sure, yeah, that's fine if you want to sit. Okay, wait, is it recording? I, I think it should be. Can you see, like, the screen? It should, like, up at the top. Okay. We're going barefooted this time. Oh, sh Oh, oh. Thank you! I've made up my mind. We are going to sandboard the big dune. Unfortunately, there isn't an easy way to get up there. Um, the road only goes up to here, where you can get in that lake. There's a campground around here, uh, but we gotta go down this way to hike it up. We're only gonna do this once. All right, well, I don't know if this does it justice, if you guys can even tell the size of these dunes, but those are quite far away. That's a 0.5 times on the iPhone. That's the lake over there, and the dune that we were just uh, sandboarding on is right there. This is where we are, and that's where we're going.
Oh my god. Oh. All right, so in case anyone was wondering, that big dune is uh, 470 feet. And uh, there's a little bit of history about the dunes for you. You can pause it there if you want. It is the tallest single structured sand dune in all of North America. It's pretty sick, 470 feet. Well, my guess was off. After getting lost for about 15 minutes, we're back in the van and I got the AC blasting. Hold on. I mean, it's only 77 degrees, but uh, it was hot up there. I am, I am absolutely covered in sand. Also, are uh, mosquito bites supposed to look like that? Not sure. So, I need to get to the gym to uh, shower off, uh, and then we're going to see about uh, checking out those ice caves. My shoes are completely filled with sand. <laughs> I'm here to turn it forward. Thank you very much. Is that all you need for me? Just returning? No. No? no. Okay. You're good. All right, thank you. This exploration of a geology that... Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now time for the gym or a shower. Hi, Skate. So when, when is the last, like, tour that you guys have today? Um, so our last tour goes out at 6. Um, and as far as reservations, first come, first serve. Um, if you want to... Oh, okay. I just lost signal. <laughs> So we stopped on the side of the road to get our tickets. It's currently 3.49 right now, and the last tour starts at 6. And uh, we should be able to make it over there with plenty of time, because it only takes about an hour from where I'm at right now. But uh, I really didn't want to miss out on checking this out. We will shower later. Don't tell anyone. out here right now pretty hard I'm getting soaked wow it's hailing outside they look really small right now they're pretty small hopefully they don't get larger than that So I went inside and talked to the lady at the counter, and uh, apparently I'm the only one here for the six o'clock tour. They may not be able to do it because I'm the only person, like they don't do one-on-one -on -one tours because uh, their guide's female. So I'm hoping that somebody else shows up. Otherwise I just kind of drove here for nothing. It is uh, 5.40 right now. Uh, so we got 20 more minutes to see if somebody else shows up down there. All right, so we're leaving. So what happened is more people did show up, so we would have been able to do the tour. And I walked in at six and they told me that we wouldn't be able to do it because of the weather and uh, something about the lightning being too close uh, for safety reasons. Which to me, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense because, I mean, we're gonna be underground, I assume. I mean, they're caves. I don't know, I'm not a cave expert. I'm not a lightning expert. So, I'll throw up some pictures for you guys so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, kind of disappointed. I think what I am actually gonna end up doing is driving down to Twin Falls uh, because that's where the Anytime Fitness is and I have a friend that lives down there so I'm gonna go uh, hang out with him tonight since I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanted to.
we are in Twin Falls now, and I figured I'd at least show you the bridge. Since we didn't get to see the other stuff. It's a pretty cool sight to see. Pretty amazing view up here. It's very nice weather now. Now that the rain stopped, but uh, I think that's gonna about do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.